Hey everybody, it's Mr. Sunny with Wholesome Learning and I know that this has been a very different week with kids staying at home, parents staying at home with the curfews, with the quarantines, with all that stuff going on and then trying to figure out how to get your kid online for Wholesome Learning. I understand that it's been a challenge and we really wanna make it as easy for you as possible. So with this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you guys can access your child's Google Classroom, how everything works. So that way when your kids come into our classes, they are ready to go and we don't waste any time with setup, alrighty? So make sure you guys watch this whole video. That way I can walk you guys through everything on how everything works, okay? I'll try to keep this as short as possible because I know you guys have busy days. Let's just get started. So the first thing that you're going to do is that over here I have an incognito window. Um, you won't have an incognito window. I only have this up because I'm already logged in on Google Classroom for the teacher's account. And um, I don't want to log in with the teacher's account. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it with the normal account. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to classroom.google.com. Now you're gonna to come to a screen that looks like this or it might look something like this, okay? So the first thing that you're going to do is you're gonna to go to classroom.google.com. If your child does not have a Google account, please make one for them. Uh, all the rest of the kids who are in Elite English and have done Google Classroom assignments, you can use your Google Classroom account that you use for that. For everybody else, Parents, please make your child a Google account. If they do not have a Google account, make them one. Or if you would feel more comfortable with uh, making a Gmail account for yourself and then uh, having them use it, you could do that too. Whichever one, just as long as they're part of the Google Classroom so we can continue helping them grow. Okay, so you're gonna go to sign in, Google Classroom, or you could just press this, go to Classroom button. So go to Classroom. All right, next up, you're gonna enter in the email address that you've created or the one that you already have. So spsha10289 at gmail.com, okay? Next, and you're going to put in your password. There's my password, next. <laughs> okay, so I'm already part of this Elite English one. I don't, we're not going to be posting assignments in here. You're going to come up here, you're going to press this plus button. Join class. All right, now, in this window over here, we have all these different class codes, okay? So depending on the email that I sent, uh, the, depending on the email that I sent you on Saturday and Sunday of this past weekend, I want you to be aware because we have some first graders that are in second grade, some second graders that are in third grade, some kindergartners that are in second grade, uh, and vice versa. So make sure that you're using the proper class code that we sent you. If you don't have your class code, please let me know and I will give you the class code. So what you're gonna do is you're going to figure out which class your child is in, depending on the email that I sent you. Um, so let's just say, We'll start with, we'll do fourth grade. So we'll take this class code and we'll enter it here. So we have S S Q K Y four Z. And then we're gonna click join. Joining. All right, so now you're in the wholesome fourth grade you don't um, class. You don't need to do this every single time, just once, and then it will be in your classes. So when you go back to Google Classroom, it'll be here. Make sure you click this one. Now, you see how this one says, hey, wholesome fourth grader, your class is starting soon. We'll see you from 537. Click the link, whichever subject you're signed up for. Remember, you get one 90-minute class for each subject you're registered for. So that means one 90-minute class for each subject you're registered for in for the week. Be sure to click the proper link for your class times to begin. So we also have the class schedule. Let's see if it's here. Uh, online. <laughs> Just give it one 
second. Okay, so we also have the class schedule, which is posted in the Facebook group and also emailed out to all of you guys. I'm gonna go over the schedule with you guys. If you just come for one subject, if you just come for one subject, say if you're a fourth grader and you just come for English, right? You are going to choose whether to do Monday from 5.30 to 7 or Wednesdays from 5.30 to 7 for English. If you do both math and English at any grade level, you're going to do, say, for example, it's your choice. You can either do English on Monday or math on Monday or English on Wednesday or math on Wednesday. So once it's time for class, you're just going to click the link, all right, for one of these or one of these, okay? So that's how that's gonna work. Also, in this, in this, uh, in this over here, half an hour before class starts, the links will come out. So that's why it's important for you to be a part of this fourth grade or whichever class you're a part of, it's important to be a part of that. So that way you get the links automatically sent to you 30 minutes before class starts. So that way your kids can be a part of classes, okay? Cool. All right, now we are in this fourth grade classroom. Now, fourth grade is currently working on NJSLA prep. If you guys are a part of a different grade below like kindergarten first or second, you're not doing NJSLA prep or some of the second graders are doing NJSLA prep and they're the third grade ones. You guys know who you are, but everybody else K to two, okay? It really depends on week by week. So in K to two, make sure you guys are a part of this Google Classroom or the Google Classroom that's for you, the kindergarten Google Classroom and first grade or second grade Google Classroom because we'll be posting assignments in there for you guys to follow along with, okay? Just make sure you're a part of your own Google Classroom. Now, for, uh, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth are working on math and English NJSLA prep. If you go to classwork up top over here, there's NJSLA practice, and then you're gonna click this one right here. Then you're gonna click this. All right, now these are all of the pages for NJSLA practice. Your kids have already done most of these, okay? When your child comes into class, we will tell them what pages that they're working on and we'll be working with them on screen together to make sure that they know what they're doing. We'll help them learn all of these concepts so that way, whatever school ends up doing, and whenever your kids end up taking that standardized test, they will be prepared. So make sure you guys are doing this. Okay. Once you guys are done with your packets, you guys can either pick them up here before classes start, or actually any time uh, until 745, or you can print them out at home, whichever one you prefer. We're more than happy to have these ready for you guys if you guys wanna come pick them up here. Uh, once you're done with it, once you're done with that packet, you are going to take a picture of it and you're going to send it to wholesometeachers at gmail.com. In the subject, put the student name, body attached pictures of the assignment. Okay, run it out of space. Okay, sounds good. All right, are we good? Are we crystal clear on how to do this? Um, if you guys have any other questions, feel free to send me a text or give me a call. My phone number is, right there. Eight. Ugh. All right, I don't know, it froze. Okay, my phone number is 862-243-0382, okay? Send me a text, you can call me, I'll pick up the phone, I'll talk to you guys. Um, don't call between the times of 4 and 7.45 p.m. because I will be teaching classes to ensure that your kids continue to grow at this time. Um, I am available to take meetings before classes or after classes on the phone, and I'm more than happy to talk to all of you about what your kids are working on. So please shoot me a text, give me a call. I'm willing to work with all of you. So I will see you all in classes. Keep growing, everybody. And remember, this is the time for us to move forward. This is the time for us to grow while the rest of the world sleeps and is trying to catch up, okay? I'll see you all in classes. And remember, don't quit.